I Have a Dream by Lacey Bussey. I have a little dream that I have tucked away. I want to bring it out for the most important day. My friends have dreams too. I see them when we play. I watch my friends as they play with their dreams and watch them grow. I want to bring mine out, but something tells me no. One day my dream got loose and started running wild. They said my dream was way too big for just a little child. Everywhere we went, people pointed and they stared. Having big dreams really seemed to make people scared. I had to lock it up. I had to put away the key. I couldn't let my dream get away from me. Locked up and put away, my dream grew. It was getting much too big. What was I to do? My dream was huge. I had to set it free. I was shocked to see my dream had grown to be as big as me. It wanted to walk in front of me. Not beside me or behind. I wanted to protect it for this dream was still mine. I stood in front of my dream, protecting it each day, fighting off the people who had negative things to say. People said my dream was ugly. Some said that it was small and that it will never amount to be anything at all. I tried to get them to like my dream. to see it as their own, but most of them wanted to destroy it. This I should have known. Then it hit me. This dream was mine and only mine. And who are they to say? This dream was meant for me to follow every single day. So that's what I started to do. And my one dream soon turned into two. Just like that, doors became opened. Depths became height. Humming became music. Darkness became light. I was no longer limited to the places I could go or the sights I could see. When I looked around, my dreams were all around me. I quickly had to learn how to keep my dreams alive. In this world, it's hard for dreams to survive. I had to find everything dreams were made of. Ambition, determination, hard work, and love. I had to learn how to trust in my dreams. They were loud. They were wild and sometimes extreme. Trusting in my dreams wasn't easy to do, especially when I'm always dreaming up something new. One day, I picked up some dreams I met that weren't mine. At first, they seemed normal, felt kind of fine. 
then yikes those dreams were outrageous they were silly and weird those dreams became something that my dreams had feared those dreams had started to hold me down and my dreams had left me nowhere to be found I realized those dreams weren't meant for me. They were visions of what others thought my dreams should be. From that point, I vowed to never pick up other dreams, although cute, although promising. They're never what they seem. I found my dreams and kept them close by. They brought to me a sparkle, a twinkle to my eye. With my dreams in my reach and now in my sight, I knew that my future was going to be bright. This is what I want you to know. Your dreams are your dreams, and if you feed them, they'll grow. Your dreams are a perfect fit for you, and if you follow your dreams, they will come true. Dream big, whether you're a boy or a girl. Your dreams are powerful. They can change the world. Believe in your dreams and never cast doubt. Instead of keeping them in, just let them out. If you open your mind to the world of your dreams, my friends, you could do such wonderful things. They say the sky is the limit of how high you could go. I say it's much higher. What do they know? Just never let your dreams give up or die. At least try to get them to shoot past the sky. And you will make it to your final resting station. With all of your dreams, you will change the nation.